Lori Michael tonight, some Penn Manor residents walked away from this meeting with a feeling of success. Others disdain after the school board voted to not work with the Independence Law Center. <laughs> Deafening applause filling the air Monday night as this crowd heard the Penn Manor School Board's decision to refuse a contract with the Independence Law Center. Judging you based upon what you have presented to us as a board, I just don't think it is appropriate at this time. In a narrow 5-4 vote, board members decided against the partnership that's recently been enacted in neighboring districts Dover and Northern York. One of the ILC attorneys made an uncommon appearance at Penn Manor's meeting, speaking before the board about his firm's goal of offering districts pro bono counsel in writing district policies that increase parental choice in schools. Where people have differences of opinion and we can find ways to accommodate each other. We can find ways to be able to say, I might disagree with what you believe and you disagree with what I believe, but we'll fight for uh, your right to believe what you believe. Since 2019, the firm has helped nine school districts in the Susquehanna Valley write policies on gendered sports participation, access to books deemed sexually inappropriate, and the right to refuse and report a student's preferred pronouns. Meanwhile, two more Lancaster County school boards are considering a contract with the ILC. Warwick will be voting on the partnership tomorrow, and Elizabethtown will be voting next week. For now, live in Millersville, McKenna Alexander, WJL News 8.